Spirit Sports Consultants presents NFL Week 8, our picks for all games. Just a program note, we're going to move our releases later in the week. We're going to do this release on Monday and our best bets on Friday. That gives a little bit more time for injury updates to come out, find out who's playing, who's not, and waiting for the odds to become more stabilized. Thanks. To the games, we're going to start out with a Thursday night special, the Bucks and the Bills. I've been a little bit harsh on some of these videos, but these two teams were very disappointing on Sunday. I was worried about the Bills early, and I said that in the pick against the Patriots. Didn't know what was going to happen, and therefore the upset. Nine-point favorites still got beaten on the road at New England. We still like them as a bounce back here. Buccaneers losing two straight home games and then having to go to Buffalo. Don't like that. Houston at Carolina, the battle between the number one and number two overall picks. Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, we've been very impressed, and we've said this before, what Stroud has done all year. We don't think that changes here going at Carolina. Carolina showed a little bit more against Miami, putting up 21 points. We really think Miami was kind of toying with them. We like the Texans here, 24-17 on the road. Rams at the Cowboys. Now, as soon as I put the Rams at 13 in the power rankings, they go and lose at home to the Steelers. If the Rams struggle against the Steelers' pass defense, it's safe to say they'll have similar issues against the Cowboys' pass defense. Dan Quinn and that team have been, done a phenomenal job, even without Trayvon Diggs. They're not necessarily elite, but they're a top unit. Problem with the Cowboys, their offense, their statistics are somewhere in the middle, so maybe looking under here, but we like the Cowboys to win it. Vikings at the Packers in NFC North Division matchup. Not much to like about either of these teams this year. It's kind of been ugly. You look at what Green Bay did at Denver. We had high hopes. We picked them to win that game. Didn't do much, even with Aaron Jones back. We're going to take the Vikings here, 28-21, even though it's in Green Bay. Division rivalry, that shouldn't matter as much. And before we continue, if you would, just join our channel. And if you like this video or find it useful, like it and then subscribe. We provide weekly NFL picks, highlights, and sports travel. Thank you. Saints and the Colts, and it's safe to say Derek Carr has not looked like Drew Brees lately. We're still wondering when that offense is going to start to click. They looked really awful against the Jaguars, but a lot of that had to do with their offensive line injuries. We believe they're getting several of those players back. We think they're going to bounce back here against the Colts, who, who are equally inconsistent. Next up, we have the Patriots at the Dolphins. Patriots with that great victory over Buffalo. Who really saw that one coming? And then Miami with that very disappointing loss at Philadelphia. Again, while we're pushing our best bets to late in this week, we didn't know about the offensive of line injuries. We thought those players would be available. That was huge against the Philadelphia front. And there's a really good chance the cornerback Xavier Howard returns in an outside shot that Jalen Ramsey plays against the Patriots, who would be great news for the Dolphins. So with that in mind, plus kind of a bounce-back game, we see a big win here, 31-14. Jets and the Giants. This game sure looked good before the season started, thinking there would be Aaron Rodgers against Daniel Jones. Neither quarterback will likely play. Jets with that big upset against the Eagles. Giants have looked good the past two weeks. We think the Jets have the better overall talent. We like their defense. We like their running game. And we think Zach can do just enough to get over the hump and beat the Giants in this game. Keep the playoff hopes alive. Next up, we have the Jaguars and the Steelers, two teams I've yet to really figure out so far this season. And just looking at last week's games, the Jaguars won the game, but really the Saints lost it. Whereas if you look at the Steelers game, they took that from the Rams. The Rams were playing well, had the lead, interception, key turnover. And then the second half, the Steelers offense just couldn't be stopped. Deontay Johnson coming back from injury is huge. We like them here, 21-17. Falcons at the Titans. The Falcons love to run it. The Titans are great at stopping the run. They, they're sixth in the league in average yards per carry allowed. They also have one of the best running backs in the league with Derrick Henry. I think the Falcons' back-to-back -back road games is going to show. We like the Titans here 20-13 to in a low-scoring upset. And before we get to our next game, the Eagles at the Commanders, I'd like to get some comments. If you could respond in the comments below, what do you think about that play they call the brotherly shove? where the offensive lineman lines up behind the quarterback to push him for the quarterback sneak. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about that one. I don't like it myself. So in this one, we like the Eagles. We think the commanders are going to keep it close. Look at what they did in the earlier game. Took the Eagles to overtime. We're competitive throughout. We think they'll do the same, but we think ultimately the Eagles take it 27-21. Browns at the Seahawks. Browns having to play back-to-back -back road games. Tough to go and deal with the 12th man. Having a really good season. Really impressed that Geno Smith put back-to-back -back good seasons here. And what are the Browns going to do at quarterback? The latest report is Deshaun's going to start. Not sure. It looked like he should have played in, in the game this past week. We're going to go with the Seahawks here, 24-21. Love that home field advantage. As high as we are 
on Jim Schwartz's defense with the Seahawks offense is going to be too much. Ravens at the Cardinals. And if you watch the game between the Lions and Ravens, that game was over about five minutes left in the first quarter. Unbelievable performance. And we think that continues here with Lamar Jackson and crew 28-14 over the Cardinals. Chiefs at the Broncos. The Broncos have shown a little bit of improvement the past couple of weeks. So hanging in there with the game against the Chiefs on Thursday night, beating the Packers at home. They could keep this game close. We're not going to pick against Patrick Mahomes. That would be foolhardy. We're going to go with the Chiefs, but in a closer margin than you might have thought, 24-20, considering Denver's at home with that mile-high advantage. And in the battle of last year's conference runners-up, we have the Bengals and the 49ers. Joe Burrow has shown improvement lately. His first couple of games back was not that impressive, but going against the 49ers defense, not an easy task. We think the defenses here on both sides are going to play a little better. We think it's going to be lower scoring than people think, 27-17. Next up, we have the Sunday night game, the Bears and the Bolts. We see a bounce-back game for the for the Bolts here. A tough loss against the Chiefs. We thought they would do a little better than that. We have, as we've stated before, been a little disappointed in this team. We had them picked to win the AFC West. Wrong. Look out for Bears backup quarterback Tyson Bajant. What can he do against the Bolts? Probably not enough. We see them winning this one 38-21. Still makes for a good story. Curious to see how Justin Fields does when he comes back in mid-November. And the Monday night game, the Raiders and the Lions. Can we just give the Lions a mulligan for that awful performance against the Ravens? We will take the blame. We set them at two in our power rankings. That must have jinxed them. We love the Lions here, though, in a bounce-back game. Prime time, Monday night at Ford Field. The crowd is going to be crazy. I've been to one of those Monday night games there. Crowd gets nuts, causes about six to seven false starts. They love it. We like the Lions here, 31 to 14. That's all for this time. Thank you for joining. Please subscribe to our channel, and we look forward to sharing our future videos with you.